I added a new stock to the portfolio today and in this video we're going to go over what that stock is, how much of it I added, as well as go over how the account is performing since I first opened it in April this year. But first, to those of you that are new here, I am not a financial advisor. None of this should be taken as financial advice. Should you need help or anything like that, seek out a real financial advisor or anyone qualified. I simply make these videos in hopes of showing you the power of consistently investing over time and show you the power of consistency and investing and what consistently investing can do over time, which means I'm aware of the fact that the videos that I am creating right now don't hold much significance right now. But as we continue to do this over time and you can see where I am, where my thoughts are, how I'm feeling about this real time, uh, over time, as we look back on it, it has real significance. Now, without further ado, Let's hop in the portfolio and take a look at what stock I added to my portfolio today. All right, so here we are in the portfolio. And for those of you wondering what trading platform I'm using in this video, I am using Interactive Brokers. If you're interested in checking it out, I have a link down below in the description. Now taking a look, uh, you can see here, I have three stocks in my portfolio. Two of these stocks I actually purchase every single day. The stock market's open $10 of each stock. And recently I've actually increased one of them to $12 instead of $10 to utilize more of the $500 that I deposit to this account each month so that more of that gets used. But taking a look at it, if you haven't figured out already, the stock I added today to this portfolio is SMCI. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor, hey, no financial advice here. Be sure to do your own due diligence, but SMCI is one that I think has some serious growth potential. All these stocks are stocks that I intend to hold longer than a year. So if that says anything, this is not a quick trade. Now, looking at how we're performing on the day, if you look at the top one, the, the first one we're going to be looking at is PayPal. PayPal is currently trading at $59. On the day, my total position, I'm down $6.48. Overall, I've put $840 into this stock and I purchased the shares at an average price of $63.53. I have 13 shares and I'm down $53 overall on this position, uh, down 6.3%. And it's currently valued at uh, $787. Going on, looking at SMCI, I purchased it today just a few hours ago and I'm already down three dollars on this the stock's actually up three dollars on the day but since i purchased it i'm down three dollars the average price that i purchased it at is 813 it's actually a fractional share so i own 37 hundredths of the share and overall i'm already down a percent on this position i don't expect it to come down too much on this it seemed like a good buying level to me but i know it's not out of the question for it to pull back more and should it pull back more? Should I have more buying power available in the future? If I see a nice pullback, I'll probably add some more. But yeah, right now that $300 I put in this morning is now $298. Or I put $301, it's now $298. Going on, looking at Tesla. Tesla is currently the hero of this portfolio. I'd like to think all these stocks are going to be heroes in about a year or two. But as of right now, Tesla on the day, it is down $39, $40. Each share individually on the day is down almost $9. My total cost basis on the stock is $835. So I have invested $835 in it. My average for it so far is $186.35, which is pretty decent because it's trading at $240. So not too mad about that. And then so far, just from me investing in Tesla since April, I am up 240, almost $42 and I'm up 29%. So as of right now, Tesla is really carrying the portfolio, really serving as a hero. And that $835 I initially invested at this moment is worth $1,077. And uh, if we look at the portfolio as a whole, everything that's been invested so far is up $186. 
but on the day this is hey not one of the prettiest days for the portfolio i love red days because you can get nice discounts but i don't like seeing the red in my portfolio but i have high hopes and optimism that this portfolio will age well and my biggest mistake is going to be not buying more if you enjoyed the video or learn anything be sure to smash the like button and for some reason you're new here and haven't already be sure to subscribe and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew manuel signing off and i want to change your life